Hi everyone and welcome to another Decorate With Us and another episode of Quick and Easy Meals. Today we're bringing you something that really is super quick and super easy. So I've got two thin pork loin chops here and I'm just going to season them up. You could season them with whatever you want. I'm going to use garlic powder and this Johnny's pork and chicken seasoning that I'll show you in just a minute. Or I think it's chicken and pork seasoning, actually. Yes. And that's all I'm going to put on the pork chops. Now, you could do this with a thicker pork loin chop. I'm sure you could do it with pork steaks, too. And you could do it with a bone-in or a boneless. I just prefer the boneless pork chops. And the super thin ones cook super quick. So then I'm just going to go ahead and get a frying pan and turn my heat on. For our burner, this is like the lowest setting I have. And then I'm going to spray in some Pam and let that heat for a second and go ahead and drop in my pork chops. And because these are so thin, they only need to cook for one minute on each side. But don't go anywhere because we're going to make a special glaze for them once they've cooked. So it's about a minute in and I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. Got some nice color on that side. And another minute in, I'm going to go ahead and take them out and transfer them to a plate and cover them with foil. I will be cooking them a bit more towards the end. So now for the special ingredient, which is just a simple can of Coke. Now I have used Cherry Coke successfully also. We tried it with Pepsi, we did not like that. Um, and I've never tried it with any version of diet soda, so I can't attest to how it would turn out if you used a diet soda. But you're just gonna dump the whole can of soda into the pan, and then you're gonna take a spatula and make sure that you scrape up all the good bits that were stuck in the pan from cooking the pork chop. And then you're basically just going to let this boil and reduce down, stirring it occasionally. So this recipe idea actually came from a crock pot recipe that we tried where it was supposed to be like a Coke barbecue sauce on pulled pork and they had you cook the pork in the Coke in the crock pot and when I tasted the pork I really liked the flavor of the pork but once I made the barbecue sauce I did not like that and my husband wasn't a huge fan either. So then I was like, well, I wonder what would happen if I just dumped the can of Coke into my frying pan. And it turns out it makes this delicious glaze on the pork chop. So you can see here, it's already starting to reduce down and get thicker, but we want it to get quite a bit thicker so that it'll be like a glaze. So we're just going to stir it and continue letting it cook. And now is a perfect time to mention the hosts of today's collaboration, which are the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, Deborah Cabasa Home Living, and Jean Home Decor, and more. I will have their channels linked down in the description box below. And these ladies are cooking up some good food every week, so I do encourage you to go over and check out what they've done. So now the sauce is about the consistency I want it to be to start and I'm going to go ahead and add my pork chops back in and I'm also going to add in the juicy goodness that has developed on the plate from letting them rest. And what I like to serve this with is mashed potatoes because I found that the Coke glaze that we're making actually tastes absolutely delicious on top of the mashed potatoes too. I bet you it would be good on top of white rice also but my hubby isn't a fan of white rice, so we do the mashed potatoes. And then my hubby likes corn with his pork chops, so we always do corn. So I'm just letting it cook here on the one side for about a minute or two, and then I'm going to flip them over, and you can see how they're starting to become coated in that. let it cook down for another minute or two and then we'll flip them over one more time and 
And you can see how thick the Coke has gotten. It's just made this beautiful, gorgeous glaze. As I stir around here, I'll get some of it to kind of slop up onto the pork chop so you can see. There we go. So that's it. Nice, quick, simple. I hope you give it a try, and I hope you think it's as delicious as we do. Um, thanks so much for watching. As always, I hope you're having a great day.